Good evening everyone, this is just a short update video on um, choice of Linux desktop. Um, as many of you know, if you've been uh, following my videos so far, I'm a big fan of the Bunsen Labs distribution and Debian and also uh, Openbox as the window manager. I've been using that for the best part of a year I would say now. Um, uh, originally chose that because coming into Linux from Mac OS it was a fantastic distribution on which to learn Linux to lift the stones to look at what's going on underneath to dive into those configuration files etc um, but uh, over Christmas I treated myself to a new PC and it's uh, I'll do another video on the actual setup itself at some point but it's an Intel Nook and the very latest one and it includes the Intel refreshed Coffee Lake processors um, and associated kind of up-to-date late 2018 hardware uh, now unfortunately uh, Bunsen Labs being based on Debian Stretch and the kind of two year plus old kernel doesn't support much of the hardware in that box so the experience on that machine was a bit naff to put it mildly unfortunately it would boot after a fashion um, needed to use an extension sorry an external USB Ethernet extension just to get the thing to connect to the internet but um, having done that it wasn't the best of experiences so we are now on KDE now KDE plasma has been for a long time um, another one of my preferred distributions probably alongside uh, open box on Debian um, but um, always kind of a secondary choice well I've decided now to certainly at least until the summer and until um, the next version of Debian releases um, I've decided to run with um, Kubuntu Kubuntu 1810 to be precise so the latest official version with the back ports turned on so it brings in the latest and greatest KDE goodies, plasma goodies. So this is the desktop. It does look um, a little bit like the desktops I usually run on Bunsen Labs, to be fair. Um, there's no conky running here. It doesn't play very nicely with KWIN, the window manager, unfortunately. But we do have, uh, I have actually edited and redesigned some of these uh, wallpapers to include a conky style kind of shortcut term. Um, block in the top right hand corner there just to make me feel a little bit more at home if nothing else um, it does include the uh, the shortcuts and I've programmed those in um, on KDE so that um, these are the shortcuts to the most commonly used programs and uh, and functions um, but uh, yeah it's working very well um, very stable modern KDE plasma is very stable it's also very light it's been light for certainly the last all oh, 12 to 18 months now um, it really has come on leaps and bounds and everything works fantastically. Um, this has the Arc Dark theme on it for both the uh, Qt applications and also uh, a separate um, a se separate Arc installation for the GTK application so they all look the same. So for example if we bring up um, our file manager and I've got a right click menu enabled here so just like on Openbox there we go one of those big unwieldy cumbersome plasma menus we now have this lovely right click menu enabled so if I now go down to for example what would we be system and if I go to Dolphin which is of course our file manager there you can see that's what it looks like with the arc theme applied and now if I open for example a GTK application so if we go to multimedia and we open, for example, Quadlibet, which is a GTK music player. And that's what we get. So if we overload the, overlay the two, you can see those match up very nicely. GTK application, Qt application. And one of the great things, I think, about the modern Plasma desktop is the effort they put into making GTK applications look so good and blend in with the native Qt applications. Um, if only the same could be said unfortunately for for example the GNOME desktop where often you'll find that your GTK applications leave a lot to be desired in terms of their look and fit within the overall desktop. So yeah that's how that uh, that's how that looks. 
And we can also bring up the uh, terminal. Terminal terminal has had um, some theming applied. Uh, let's use the keyboard for that, shall we? So meta key T will bring up our terminal. Oh, there we go. Can't beat wobbly windows. There we are. Background transparency and obviously the blur is in, enabled here. Uh, this has got Neo Fetch with a few edits to remove a few um, unwanted entries. But um, the colour scheme I think blends in nicely with the overall theme. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a themed version of KDE's console. As I say, this right-click menu I think is excellent. Um, it's built into Plasma. It's uh, it's there in the background. You can enable it um, in place of the usual menus. But as you can see, all of the main stuff is there. And there's some transparency going on there. So it's not a million miles away from the kind of experience I've been used to on Openbox. And I feel very at home uh, on this as it currently stands. So that was just a very quick video just to say that I, ha I have switched. The next um, tranche of videos you see from me will be coming to you from the Plasma desktop. I say certainly until, until the summer um, at least. So look out for some more content and I'll uh, catch up with you all very soon. Bye for now.